today we are going to discuss about customer central it provides the customer service agents with all information of customers in one central place if agents are going to use agent workspace they can view this customer central on interaction record if they are using configurable workspace they can see this customer central on interactions case accounts contacts or consumer record this can be viewed in two tabs one is customer information other one is customer activity let's see about customer information this is how agent workspace looks and in agent workspace here we can see customer information in this view it displays key information about the customers and it contains predefined lists reports records and report groups let's move on to the activity and this is the activity view here we are seeing it and left side uh, navigation is called as uh, facets so it displays all the recent touch points in form of activity fed let's move on to the short demo on customer central before configuring the customer central we need to have a plugin installed so let's open the plugin page and search for customer central and this customer central is belonging to the customer service management and here we go with the summary of customer central and we have few dependencies with the customer central plugin here we can see it and let's move on to the workspace after installing it you can go to the workspace which is csm configurable workspace agent workspace is going to be depreciated in future release so try to use configurable workspace after installing the plugin if you have workspace in your instance you can directly open it if it is not available you need to install the required plugins so this is the workspace let's move on to the record from here you can open the records or directly if it is there you can go with existing record let's go with this record and this is already created and on this record you you are having a contact for this particular record so this contact information should be showed on customer information tab and customer activity tab and these two tabs combinedly called as customer central so let's move on to the customer information tab what are the cards we have in this particular information tab here you can see this is a contact card and this can be called as record configuration here you can see uh, information or details about the particular contact on particular interaction this is the contact name mobile number phone number account details etc we can see on contact card and this is called as reporting group configuration these are the reports and these are uh, are grouped into one configuration that is high priority cases so this is called as a single report view report configuration and here we can see recent cases this is called as list configuration this is also list configuration we can configure as many lists reports or records or report group configuration based on your requirement let's go to the customer information how we can configure or how we can use the predefined configurations given by the demo data type customer central on the main page so here you can see customer information and customer activity here goes that so let's check what is customer information how we can configure it before configuring it first we need to configure customer information context so i'm going with the data already exist so i'm going uh, here we have two context tables one is customer contact other one is consumer and those two are targeting with interaction so this particular information tab can be seen on interaction records contact records consumer records not only on that case records also let's click on customer contact in this particular customer information context we can we can use the layout how we can see it on the workspace we can configure the layout this layout so let's move there here you can see target table context table and layout it can be single column two column or three column layout and these are the customer information cards for this particular customer information context already we have seen that 
कॉन्टैक्ट का कॉन्टैक्ट कार्ड इट कैन बी कॉल्ड अस रिकॉर्ड कॉन्फ़िगरेशन हाई प्रायोरिटी रूप रिपोर्ट ग्रुप कॉन्फ़िगरेशंस लाइक दैट वी हैव लिस्ट ऑफ कॉन्फ़िगरेशंस लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द कस्टमर सेंट्रल एंड हियर वी कैन सी लिस्ट कॉन्फ़िगरेशंस रिपोर्ट कॉन्फ़िगरेशंस रिकॉर्ड एंड रिपोर्ट ग्रुप कॉन्फ़िगरेशंस लेट्स गो विद द लिस्ट कॉन्फ़िगरेशंस फर्स्ट हियर यू कैन सी लिस्ट कॉन्फ़िगरेशंस एंड दीस आर डिफाइंड ऑन two contact tables one is consumer and other one is con contact let's open any one of the list configuration so that we can have an idea about this i'm opening recent cases so whenever you configuring a list configuration on the con on the customer information context title should be the whatever you need to see on the uh workspace let's uh, let's move here see here you can see recent cases it is the title we are using it here and context table will be contact and relationship whenever you are configuring list configuration you need to create a relationship so that relationship can be used in list configuration let's open this and here you can see list limit three records if you keep five records in this particular list view of workspace we can see five records as of now we are keeping it as three let's move on to the relationship let's have a look on a uh, look into the relationship so for each and every list configuration you need to create a relationship and you need to attach relationship to the list configuration and here they are using applies to table as contact and queries from table as case so here current table is case and from case table we are taking the contact value and our parent table is applies to table and we are searching that contact society in the contact table if it, if it has the uh, contacts with the cases it will show all the cases related to this particular contact let's see here um this is the person craycraft and this person has two recent cases you can see by opening these two cases see here you can see contact is craycraft and here also craycraft here are two recent cases and those two recent cases are showing in the recent cases list configuration this is how we, we can configure the list configuration based on our constraints let's jump into the report configurations this is a simple if you uh, if you have used reports how to create reports so let's open one of the report i'm opening priority report here also we have title as p1 and context table is contact and report here you can see p1 cases so it is a report directly they created a p1 cases report on customer service case table and you need to have relationship with this particular report so you need to create a relationship and you need to attach here and you need to create a report and you need to attach it here so see here you can see this is a report and you can click on view report this is a basic report here you can see case table priority should be one critical and here you can configure each and everything for the report so already we have seen how to create a relationship so you can create a relationship for this particular report configuration and you can attach it here this is how report configuration works let's move on to the record configurations record configuration is nothing but a record card for a particular contact and this is our report configuration and we have selected donate for that so let's move on to the record configurations let's open contact record configuration so in uh, record configuration also we need to create a relationship and we need to attach this relationship to the record configuration and what are the fields we are going to see on the record card means um, let's go to the workspace here Uh, contact name mobile phone business phone account email these fields should be given in the field section of record configuration here you can give as many fields you want to see it on the 
वर्क स्पेस सो एजेंट्स कैन हाव ए क्विक ग्लांस ऑन द पर्टिकुलर कॉन्टेक्ट हू क्रिएटेड द हू रेस इज द केस सो दिस इज हाउ रिकॉर्ड कॉन्फिग्रेशन वर्क्स लेट्स गो टू द रिपोर्ट ग्रुप कॉन्फिग्रेशन इन दिस रिपोर्ट ग्रुप कॉन्फिग्रेशन it's a very easy well you uh, if you worked with record configurations all the record configurations which we, uh, which you are going to create on a particular contact or consumer table so those can be grouped by using report uh, configuration field you can click on this and all the report configurations which you have built earlier they can be shown up here based on the particular context table so you can select task many reports you want from here this is how we can see here we selected like escalated p1 and sla breach let's check it here this is title and here you can see escalated p1 sla breach these are individual reports and these all are grouped into one report configuration this is how it works let's move on to the customer activity in customer activity we will be having activity contacts and fed configuration so in fed configuration we can design activity types groups and activity type template this all can be used in activity context related related list let's open activity context let's open with the contact here you can see related lists which are linked with activity context group activity context types and facets so this all you need to configure before moving on uh, before it should be present on the workspace let's check one i'm going with the case activity context group meanwhile lights open workspace here you can see this is on case table and this has two activity types linked with this particular activity group one is contact case created other one is consumer case created and this activity types also you need to create and you need to link with the activity group and this is the activity group and here you can see activity context types contact contact case record and this is how the record shows you need to fill each and every field and activity message you need to create a new one or you can select the existing one this is how it works let's go to the workspace and let's check i am opening the existing record so here you can see customer information if you can create a case this case overview count will be increased let's create a case with the same contact so it's populated automatically we are creating a case from the interaction record it's populating few details from there itself let's save this so let's refresh this page so customer information tab has to be updated here you can see in case overview you have two new cases and one resolved case this is how report configurations can be shown and this is a card and these are the recent act, uh, recent cases if this particular contact which is on interaction record has a, an entitlement means uh, account account is linked with an entitlement this entitlement can be populated in the customer information here you can see for this particular account we have one entitlement and that entitlement can be populated here if that particular account has contracts that can be populated in the contracts list configuration this is how it works if contact has viewed any articles on the portals we can get some uh, records in uh, recent viewed art articles if any phone calls is done between the agent and the contact those records will be stored here like that recent chat interaction it requires agent chat to be configured let's check here 
see here you can see this particular account has one contract and one entitlement uh, already we can see that entitlement is showing on this particular customer information tab here you can check it but contract is not showing here because let's check why it's not showing let's go on to the contracts contract should be see here you can see it is in draft state so it should be in complete state or published state so that contract can be viewed on the customer information here as of now it's in draft state so we are unable to view that view that let's open customer activity tab and let's discuss it we already discussed that the left the left side bar is called as facets in customer activity here you can select start and end date so that all the activities present in the facets will be uh, shown populating from this particular start date to end date uh, we are selecting acto november 8th to till today so we can see three cases for this particular contact and here you can see what we are defining here this can be defined in the activity uh, customer activities like when we are working with activity types and activity groups so here we can see case number short description uh, sorry contact name and when it is created and we can see short description also if we have short description for this particular case here you can see for this particular case we have short description and it's showing it here this is how it works this is how we can see cases and we can see few interactions via chart of phone with this particular contact and yeah, if he has done any portal activities like knowledge articles uh, if the contact is logging into the portal and if contact is seeing any uh, knowledge articles there or if he if he viewed there so those all uh, activity feed will be fed will be captured here like similar way we have contracts and entitlements related to this particular contact this is how customer information and customer activity uh, tabs can be seen in workspace this both combinedly called as customer central this is how it works thank you